Hi again. Today we're going to do something that um, is a problem to quite a lot of you with a classic mini, and that's the where the rod selector goes into the back of the gearbox. You tend to find that you end up with an oil leak after a period of time. How do you fix that? Simple and difficult at the same time. The mechanics of it is not that difficult. The access is the thing that's difficult. Okay, so let's get on with that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the oil seal here. You can see the dripping oil. This is the rod selector. And all we need to do here is separate it here. That will take that collar off. And then you've got the two parts. With the two parts, you can then separate it. You can even slide that off and check what's inside. See whether we've got a, an inner ring to take out. If, if there isn't, we've just got to slide the new one on, slide the new seal over, and then I've got a flexible piece that helps protect that in terms of dust and dirt. Okay, let's go and get the pieces so we can get that work done. Okay, this is a particular punch tool for taking these out, just drifting them out, um, because it fits nicely in the hole at the end, this makes it more secure. Uh, you've got a choice, you can do that Buy one of those they're not too expensive or just use a normal center punch so i've just dropped it into reverse it just tilts it over that little bit more which makes that one there is there somewhere there we go Throw a bit more to be able to see it clearly And then we to just The oil seal is now off, and you can see down into the, uh, the block at the end of the, the well, shaft there, where the locator head shaft goes through. Restart. So the oil seal is off. You can see the selector shaft there going into the gearbox, and that's the depth we've got to work with. Do check your depth carefully. Mine ended up being slightly shorter than normal and therefore I just need to take a little shim off the aluminium uh, collar that's going to go in there. Otherwise everything sits too far, too high up. So just show you the, the collar and the little mod to be done on that and then we drop them in. So now we need to put the thing back together. There's a dust garter um, which would then just go between the connecting piece and the gearbox so sitting onto the seal a lot of people say don't bother because it ends up being a dirt, dirt trap um this is the metal ring it was an eight millimeter thickness i've just had to trim it down to six because for me uh, i don't have quite the depth that you'd normally find in the gearbox 
not quite sure why but without taking the gearbox out I can't fully investigate so I've just trimmed it down so I still get some of the benefits I just need to clean it up um, in terms of burrs and so on um, put the ring on and then slide it all in so I'll just do that and then uh, we'll go under the car and just drop the things in place so I'm going to use a bit of Vaseline if you've got a choice you can use Vaseline you can use uh, grease anything that just helps it to go in and also will just help with the sealing afterwards as well Vaseline around the outside. That should help. I just need to move that out of the way. Uh, oh, should hang on. Before I get carried away, make sure you put it in the right way up so that you've got the hole on the. There's no point in making the hole and then putting it on the inside of the. Then I'm using uh, 11 sixteenths, but anything that goes over the top just lets you push it in, and that seats that home. Same again for the actual seal. Just a little bit of something around the edges to help it really just fly home and worth just putting a little bit around the top bit there Just helping make that seal too. And then that in the same way that you just did with the other. And just find the thing. Just to push everything. Home. seated and then you shouldn't be getting a leak then uh, rubbing that through make sure that's all operating okay now you can see the problem you have, if you put this on, is, well, let me first of all, let me pull the, the gear selector out. So it sits on there. quite tight. So I think I'm going to be like most other people, or certainly on the thing that I read, or Jefferson that. So then that needs to be lined up for the hole. OK, 
good in that position. So get your drift. And then we just need to tap it in. And there we go. One completely done job. And there you go. One neat little seal and hopefully an end to the problems that we had there. There, all done.